Crazy Skater 96 here, and um, I was asked what kind of guitar I have in um, a couple of the comments in my videos, and I've asked, I've been asked to re kind of review this guitar, and so um, here I am. Obviously, you can see that this is an SG. Um, it is not Gibson nor an Epiphone. It is actually Stadium. All right. And uh, it's not it's not really a knockoff brand, but it's not a name brand either. Like I'd really say, if you were gonna go buy this guitar from Stadium, it is a four hundred dollar guitar, which isn't a high price for a guitar, but it's not exactly a low price either for um, people who are kind of like. 14, 15, or you know, don't have jobs. Where if you get a Gibson, you're, depending on what guitar you get, you're looking around a thousand dollars. And so it's a it's a nice sounding guitar. It has um really good reaction, you know. Um, the body is bass wood, and then the neck, which is like, you know, obviously there. Um, is maple and then these tuners the tuning pegs are um, they aren't the Gibson signature obviously because it's not a Gibson guitar uh, like you'd see on most SG's if they are Gibson uh, but they are Grover's and uh, the nice thing about Grover's is that um, they don't slip most tuning pegs depending on what you have tend to slip like I have a strat and those tuning pegs slip a lot and um, there's 22 frets on the fretboard here um, the fingerboard is a rosewood and then the inlays so like right here are trapezoids and then the joint is a set neck, then two humbucker pickups, two volume controls, two tone controls, um, three way selector so you can have down here in the middle, here, your volume here, you know, right in the middle, both of them are up, this one, so it's pretty much, I, I believe this pickup both pickups or just this pickup I believe it would be uh, the bridge here two pneumatic uh, chrome hardware and uh, with stadium these guitars come in uh, this cherry red color right here and um, a satin black which is actually really nice like uh, Angus Young he has he has the, uh, the cherry red and then he has a satin black SG and um, both of them actually look pretty nice although I tend to like the cherry a lot more um, the color is a lot a lot nicer and uh, whatnot and I mean it's not like you know this guitar has is is cheap obviously a $400 guitar and you know you buy your guitar for look, sound, whatever you personally tend to buy it for. But uh, a lot of your sound also comes from an amp. And uh, while I'm here, I might as well kind of review this too real quick. Um, Marshall... Uh, DFX the 250 and uh, over here you have your clean channel your input your gain your bass middle treble and then over here you have your overdrive channel with gain bass contour treble and volume and then you have your digital effects which is um, chorus and delay delay chorus or flidge and uh, then you have your FX level, and then reverb level, and then your master volume. 
and then that switch that says FDD, I can come over, I can come over here, and uh, right back here, I can actually plug in um, like a 2x12 or 212 speaker uh, cabinet. And I like that. And then got the little foot switch over here. Show you that while I'm here. The foot switch. Although my cord's in the way. <laughs> uh, you got on the left is channel, on the right is DFX. Alright. Sorry about all the random movingness stuff. And so pretty much it's it's really nice amp. Um, I like Marshalls because you can get a lot of sounds out of it. And let's see if I can find a pick here. Alright, I'm not finding a pick, but I'll play this real quick. And um, really, it's a really nice one, like a really nice amp. For the money, I paid two seventy four for it, but it's like a six hundred dollar amp, I believe, brand new. But you got your clean. Except my thing's wanting to be lame. that but you got your clean you know like with the I like having the bass on there a lot because you can get that like if you wanted to you can get like a real nice kind of blues out of it pushes a lot of power too out of this amplifier and uh, then you also have your overdrive channel and you know you can get kind of like that kind of digital effects and get a chorus. Or I can go with like a chorus and delay a little bit. A little bit of delay and a little bit of chorus. And you probably don't really hear the delay in there too much, but see? It's an, and then and then your regular delay, your regular delay is going to be depending on how you set it. And then you your flidge, which and I was just doing or whatever there. <laughs> and really, and then you know, click on and off because you can go to. between the two. And I don't know, like I really like the feel of this guitar. It's kind of really nice. Especially with this amp. And you'll notice that I'll do that a lot. Because that's a really nice lick on this guitar. 
Um, and actually, I was going to show you one more thing today, which is a pretty cool strap. Uh, most straps, you just kind of strap, put it, put it on a stub or whatnot, and then it just kind of sits there. You know. And uh, really, this strap I just got it not too long ago, uh, but you can see here, it's not you know your normal strap. Not your normal strap. Um, it is a. It's by Demarzio. It's looking like, and it's a clip lock strap. And uh, you know, you come over here, and you're sitting here. What you know? You clip that in because now, when you're playing, that's not going anywhere unless you want to take it off. You know, but I do suggest to be careful because you don't want these buckles here scratching your guitar. So, like, you know, kind of have it in a way where it's like that. It's not going to touch it. And, uh, it's, it's, I don't know, I find it pretty useful. So, this is pretty much the Stadium SG, um, the MG250 DFX Marshall. Um, and a clip lock strap, I mean, and if any of you want to know, um, the strings that I use are Ernie Ball 10 gauge strings. Just, I don't, I don't know if you even care, but just saying. Anyways, you want any more? Hit me up. See ya.